Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're just stumbling upon my channel. My name is Madeline, I post new videos every Sunday at least. So in this video, I thought I would just make it like casual vlog style. I went to the grocery store today with my mask on and all and just got some goodies stocked up for the week and thought I'll just take you guys along with me. Um, if today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday and I'm just gonna take you guys through a couple days of my life if anything interesting I'm doing. I have gotten a couple new Amazon packages in the mail that I think you guys will, I think is fun because it's just some different things that have been super useful to my life. Like just like little quarantine changes that are just making my day a little bit better. Um, so I'll show you guys those and then just anything else interesting I get up to I'll take you guys along for it. So I'm going to start out right now and show you guys a couple of the things I got off Amazon as well as some fun new things that I got from Trader Joe's. So yeah, if you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe. Like I said, new videos every Sunday. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like this or if you want to see more fashion ones, I can stop doing these. I don't know. Whatever you guys think, let me know and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I've gotten that has been a total game changer is these silicone straws. I don't know about you guys, but I like to bite on my straws. And so I can't do that with the um, metal ones. So love these. And they're a little bit fatter. And so I think it makes me drink more water. And then you can see here it came with like a pipe cleaner and then um, just like a couple other colors. And I think they're really fun. So that's been really fun. Next thing I got is this, it's a shower speaker. So I was just charging it, I got it yesterday and so I haven't used it yet, but the reviews are really good. And so it's Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your phone and then the reviews were saying it's awesome too because um, it has like um, a power button and then you can like change the episodes if you're listening to a podcast or turn up the volume or pause it or something. And then I actually don't know what that button is. But yeah, so this will be really nice because whenever I'm taking just those long showers, you just, I just get really bored. So I'm excited about this. I'll let you guys know ooh, what I think. Oh, it sticks really well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just got it connected and then watch them like play my podcast. I'm doing that anymore. Only the song that wins. Oh my gosh. By the artist. Like, there's so many songs. Shower game changer. So my hair is an actual grease pit. So low buns all around, but I did want to show you guys an updated skincare routine because if you guys have watched my video a few weeks back, I got a lot of stuff in from the Sephora sale um, and a lot of it was skincare that I've been incorporating and a lot of it has been really helping and I've been really, really loving it. So let's do that. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with my Ula Henriksen toner. I got a refill of this, but I'm still finishing up my last bottle. And with this, I just go in with a cotton ball. I usually use cotton rounds, but for I had cotton balls from whenever I had to take off my nails <laughs> with acetone. Um, so that's what we're using. And then I didn't wear any makeup today, but I just like to get like the stuff, just any grease or like dirt that builds up on my face. And it also just helps your moisturizer absorb a lot better if you do a toner. So I always do that first, get it off. And honestly, my skin, y'all, besides this little buddy on my chin that you can't really see, has never been clearer. I think it's attributed a lot to not wearing makeup, but also like, I think just I really finally have like my skincare routine down. Okay, so then after my toner, I'm gonna go in with my dermatologist prescribed retinol and I have Epiduo Forte. Um, and I just take like a pea-sized amount. Oh crap, it's almost out. Okay, so it's a little bit more. Um, I used to use like the less strong version of this, but I have my skin has I has really gotten used to this strong version. So that's been really good. And I feel like I can really see difference in my skin texture and just like my pore size, as well as obviously it's helped most with me not having breakouts because the, any, the type of breakouts that I get are like those big welts underneath your skin on your chin um and I've also been eating pretty healthy so that might be it I don't know the pros of quarantine I suppose so then after that I'm gonna spray my face with the Caudalie oh gosh I'm not even gonna try and say that but I'll link it down below and I'll just spray it 
swear it has some sort of essential oil on it because like like a mint peppermint essential oil or something because it just smells it just feels so good when i breathe it in and then for moisturizer what i've been loving is the peter thomas roth cloud cream with hyaluronic acid in it so i take a really small amount because it actually does feel like kind of cloud like but one time i put too much of it on and it kind of dried out my skin so literally like that much and then i'll just rub it all in and then i finish with an oil and an eye cream and i'll show you guys that right after this okay i'm gonna do eye cream then oil but so i've been using the lotus youth preserve eye cream from uh fresh and i really like it gonna take that and you don't need too much but i also put it like kind of on my eyelids too because i feel like my eyelids get kind of dry and then bring that all the way where like my crow's feet are and then just like press it in with your finger and we're good to go Okay, now on to the oil. Best oil ever, I swear, is this Midnight Recovery Concentrate from Kiehl's. It just like brings like dull spots and red spots. It just like blurs them and takes the redness out of them, I swear, overnight. It's amazing. I use like not even half a pump and then I just take it in my hands and then I make sure to not just rub it into my skin, but I first like press it in. I get pretty dry like right here. Just make sure. And yeah, oh and my earrings. I don't know if I showed these. They're so cute. They're like four different little shapes. They're from Love AJ. And they're just like little huggies with like stars and hearts and like a lightning bolt and a moon. So cute. Okay, then I'm going to finish with my favorite lip balm, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And in my Sephora haul, I also got the um, Summer Fridays new lip butter. And I love that one too, but for some reason for nighttime, I just love this one. And I started to keep my um, the Summer Fridays one in my purse. Okay, and that is my updated skincare routine. And now I'm going to go cook some salmon. Okay, dinner is all packed up so the salmon i like doing it in the foil best i just think it keeps all the juices in there and everything just stays very flavorful um sorry i already wrapped it up but it's just like lemon butter um i did dill today and lemon pepper and um paprika and then i'm just putting um, asparagus in there at the same time and i just did a little bit of olive oil some of this Montreal steak seasoning goes so good on vegetables and then a little bit of this lemon pepper and then I'll just put them both in there it's really convenient at 425 for 20 minutes and then I'm also just gonna slice up some mushroom <laughs> mushrooms mushrooms and saute them on the skillet Okay, so I made a little aioli to go on top of the salmon, and it is just my Kite Hill almond milk yogurt, a, little, a tea, um, sorry, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I ripped up some of this fresh dill and put it in there, um, some lemon juice, and then a dash of um, garlic salt. Alrighty, and here's the final presentation. She looks good. You guys balanced in my fruit bowl right now <laughs> um but though that little cookie montage you guys just saw is this recipe i got from emily de donato if you guys don't follow her she's awesome she's um a model she's like the face of maybelline 
you'll recognize her face, I promise. But this is her cookie recipe and it just has clean ingredients in it and I love making it. Like making them, I forgot about it for like a year, but I made them a bunch last year and they are so good. So I have the batter all made and then now you just cook them at 350 for 12 minutes. So super fast and I'll show you guys the end result. Okay, here's what they look like before they go in. They're like a little runny because they're not like typical cookies. And then in they go. Oh, they look so good. They honestly look kind of like oatmeal raisin cookies, but they're not. Okay, talk to you guys later. We're gonna go dig in. Okay, so it's been a little bit. I, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but this is actually my last week in the queue, technically. Since things are starting to open up in Texas, I'm gonna start going into my doctor's offices next week. I'm medical sales, for those of you that haven't um, watched previous videos, but I'm gonna just start going into my offices. Um, my company sent us the protective gear, like even like shields to wear if offices want us to. So basically I'm just gonna start going in there, checking their supplies and just trying to do my job as much as I can. Um, as much as each office is comfortable with. But, so I'm just trying to make the most out of this last week, you know, the pros of being able to be home more often. So I had this one cabinet in my kitchen. Just let me show you. That is the biggest pain in my rear end of all time. And it just keeps getting worse. So that is just, that's most of it. But this shit is, excuse my language, is usually, crammed in there too so i got some uh, containers and i'm gonna like pour my flour in and sugar in like acrylic containers um but those aren't here yet and i just need to start because what also happened this morning is as i was getting the powdered sugar out when i was making crepes i was like hmm there's something grainy all over all of this stuff no it wasn't the, the powdered sugar it wasn't the flour it was the dang spirulina got all over all of my stuff. So this just can't wait anymore. I'm just gonna start tackling this. This is, um, needs to be better, but uh, as you can see, I kind of have this like stadium situation where they can stack. But yeah, um, this, it just needs a lot of work. But before that, I did wanna show you guys a couple of the things I got at Trader Joe's yesterday that I haven't had before or that I've only gotten a couple times that I'm really excited about. So the first one being that just caught my attention in here is I'm on a couple Trader Joe's Facebook groups and hello. And this one I've seen people talk about. It is the barbecue rub and seasoning with coffee and garlic. So you rub it on the chicken. You know what? I'm thawing some chicken in this bowl right now Maybe I'll do this rub on it tonight. That's a thought. Okay. Then other cool things I've gotten from Trader Joe's. Let me see. Oh, always these. These are my absolute favorite. The oven baked cheese bites with truffle. I finally found the nutritional yeast there. Um, what else? This is my second time getting this creamer. The coconut and almond creamer. Um, and then I love their fresh olives. I think I'm about to have a snack like hummus and rice cracker. I don't know why this is not focusing. And it's they're just really good and really fresh. And then another thing is if y'all haven't tried jicama before, they're really delicious. And I really like to squirt some lemon juice on it. And it's just like a really good little snack. I'll show you guys here when I make a little snack plate in a minute. Oh, and the other thing that really excited me is truffle ketchup. So I'm making I'm making some potatoes tonight and I cannot wait to dip it in this. Like dear God. There are some almonds. I don't even know. This is all of it. <laughs> okay, so I honestly don't even feel like it looks that much better, but it is. So, this is what we did. Snacks, so like cheese bites, um, rice cakes, tortilla chips, 
And then I don't even really know what to do with bread, so I just put it over here. And then I have a couple snacks back there that wouldn't fit in the bins. Then the bin back there is all pastas. My bin back there is all baking stuff, like baking powder, um, stuff like that. And then up here is all like smoothies and uh, acai bowls stuff. So like cocoa nibs, chia seeds, um, and yeah. So, and then down here is is where I'm just stashing everything that I'm gonna put in those big bins or like tubs tomorrow when they get here from Amazon. They're just not here. And then I did spruce up up here too and just put all my like um, oils and sprays and stuff. And then just spruce this up a little bit too. So yeah, I feel a lot better. Hi you guys, so it's been a few days and I just wanted to come on here and show you guys a couple additions that we did to our master bedroom. So first of all, I am currently jade rolling my face because I drank way too much wine last night and I just feel so puffy. Jade rollers are life, keep it in the fridge. It's just like my favorite thing ever. So our master, we ordered a new comforter and I'll put the, I took a picture of the tag and so I'll put it on the screen right here for you guys, but it feels almost identical to the parachute comforter and it was a fraction of the price and so I just had to share it with you guys. So let me turn the camera around. So this is what it looks like. You, it has that kind of like wrinkly look that the parachute comforters have. And then um, I also got this throw from Home Goods, and it's I think it was an Indonesian. I think is where it's from. Kind of like that look. I just love this vibe. And then um, we had these pillows. That pillow used to be on the couch. And then I also ordered these off of Hobby Lobby. And I wasn't in love with them when I first saw them, but the more I kept looking at them, the more I kind of got the vibe of anthropology. And I just really like the way they look sitting up there. And then I also ordered this tree and got this pot for it to go in and it fits perfectly. And I think this just looks so much better. I just feel like we actually have like a room aesthetic now. So I, we are gonna do a painting above the bed. So I'm just like holding my jade roll. Um, but we can't find one for, I just refuse to pay like $500 for a comforter. I mean, sorry, not for a comforter, for a painting. And so I think we're going to make our own and I'm going to make a whole video on that, but we are going to put a painting above that. And I just did not like the one we had. And for any of you guys that are new, let me show you guys our living room because the vibe all kind of goes together. So this is our couch from Nebraska Furniture Mart. And I have a whole video on our, my apartment tour. Should I start using my jade rollers? Like my pointer um and then this vase was from home goods and that like eucalyptus thing i think i got from hobby lobby so yeah just the vibe kind of flows now i need to get a we need to get a new tv stand this is just like not my favorite part of the apartment but yeah so just so you can see the aesthetics kind of flow better now it's just i don't know i love the white comforter we're gonna have to be really careful with it but just want to update you guys so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i'm gonna start a new one this week and then be on the lookout for that video i'm gonna do on the painting above our bed it's gonna be kind of a fun diy video um, but yeah, so if you guys haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel, new videos every Sunday. I will be back with more. I'm going to do like a makeup tutorial soon. So just all things lifestyle, love to vlog, whatever you guys want to see, leave me a comment. I would, I love interacting with you guys. So just let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.